Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. Well, after dense fog this morning and a little bit of cloud cover, we cleared out quite nicely, even warmed up beautifully throughout the daytime. Saw plenty of sunshine and a little bit of some breezy conditions. Of course, those two go hand in hand for a bit of an indication that a cold front is about to move through the area. And that could bring in a few showers through really the overnight hours heading towards midnight or so. Not everyone is going to see that rain chance. Very hit or miss. Maybe a couple rumbles of thunder in there. Otherwise, we'll hold on to some cloud cover early sun. Sunday, but it won't last the entirety of the daytime. We will eventually clear on out. It'll just be slightly cooler, really more seasonable levels heading on into the end of the weekend. But early next week, we already start to see things rebound and we'll start warming up again, heading through the first couple days of March. Looking outside over West Topeka, you can see the sun out there starting to set. Going to be a beautiful sunset this evening with a few clouds off in the distance. Also seeing a few clouds over Manhattan. Temperatures today didn't struggle to warm up by any means means even though we started off with that fog and cloud cover 28 and 50 what we typically see 27 this morning not too far off from what we where we typically are for late February but made it up to 67 degrees this afternoon we are starting to see those warmer temperatures become more and more frequent as we near the start of spring Temperatures across the state, 50s and 60s, 70 degrees in Dodge City. We could start to get closer and closer to that 70 degree mark, or at least see more of it as we head through the next couple of weeks. Current temperatures, 62 in Topeka, Manhattan, and Junction City at 63. Winds, though, have been a bit of a nuisance throughout the daytime. They're 15 to 20 miles an hour out there right now from the south and the southeast. That has helped us warm up throughout the daytime, but those winds will eventually change direction to more northerly breezes as we head towards about the midnight one o'clock hour. That front makes its way through and we'll have some colder breezes about 10 to 15 miles an hour throughout the daytime tomorrow. Seeing a few clouds filtering in across the area. We're keeping an eye on that front that will eventually make its way towards our area, bringing in that slight chance for rain really about 10 o'clock or so, starting to see some isolated or even scattered showers develop through about 2 a.m. Could hear a couple rumbles of thunder with this system as it moves on through. Again, very hit or miss with who this rain is going to hit. By the time just before sunrise, most of it pretty much out of here. We may see a few clouds to start off, but eventually we'll clear things out heading into the afternoon and evening, and our temperatures will stay pretty seasonable in those upper 40s and lower 50s. So we will get slightly colder tomorrow, but we don't hold on to the colder air. We warm things right back up, heading on into Monday with plenty of sunshine and Tuesday as well in those middle middle to upper 50s. Wednesday rolls around, those 60s start to make a return, keeping an eye on a chance for some showers and maybe Maybe even some thunderstorms late in the day on Thursday, and then we'll see our temperatures stay pretty consistent in the 50s and 60s heading on into next weekend. Stay with us. We'll be right back.